Welcome to Instant Guitar. In order that we can communicate a little better, I'm going to show you a few parts of the guitar that we're going to be talking about. This is the head of the guitar, and on the head you have the keys, the tuning keys. This is the nut, it's a little white saddle right here. And then this is the neck of the guitar. Each one of these spaces is going to be called fret. Actually, the little wire things in the wood are the frets, but we're going to call these spaces the frets. Then you have the sound hole. This is the body of the guitar. This is the bridge. And this is the saddle, the white piece. It is important that you hold the guitar comfortably. And the proper way to hold the guitar is straight up with your arm over the top of the guitar. The cut of the guitar on your leg. And with your left hand, you want to bring your left hand so that it's comfortable for your fingers to go straight in to the fretboard. also want to make sure that your fingernails are not too long because if they're too long they're going to dig into the wood of the guitar and cause problems with the guitar. The main thing that you want to remember is don't try to grip the guitar neck really tight because you're going to wear yourself out. You want to play with your hands rather relaxed and when you're making the chords or when you're doing finger exercises, remember that your fingers are going to be working independently. So the finger exercises are very important. And it's very important to have the guitar in the right position. We're going to tune the guitar now so that your guitar and my guitar will be together. And I'm just going to hit, I just tuned with a tuner so I'm up to pitch. And uh, I'm going to hit the big string which is the E string first and you want to make your guitar sound like this one now I'm going down to the next string which is A string is going to be D. And the next string is going to be G. And then the little string is also a E. We're going to start with some finger exercises. These will help you get where you can use your fingers and uh, coordinate your fingers and string at the same time. We want to have the ability to put our finger on any string instantly. So we're going to start right on this very top string, the big string. We're going to put finger number one in the first fret on the top string. We're going to strike that with the pick downward. Now 
we're going to put our second finger on the second fret on the top string. And we're going to bring the pick up. So we've got a alternating motion here. The pick's going down and then back up. Then we're going to put our third finger on the third fret on the top string and go down again because we're going to alternate the pick up and down. Up, down, up, down. Every time we move our finger to a different fret, the pick's going to be going a different direction. So this is what we're going to be doing. Pick's going down. We we'll move here. It's going up. Third finger. It's going down again. Then up. Then we're going to drop down the next string and do the same thing. We're going to do that all the way down. We'll get to the bottom. We'll start at the bottom and go back. A little string with our little finger and bring the pick up. Then back up one, back up another one. So remember, you're using first finger, second, third, and fourth. And alternating the pick up and down. Then move up one string. do this at least five or ten minutes every day before you start practicing on your chords. This will help loosen your fingers up and get you used to putting your fingers on the right strings. Now the next exercise we're going to do is a walking the strings exercise. And we're going to start in the third fret and we're only going to use the first finger and the third finger. So this one we're going to start the third fret and go here, still alter alternating the pick, and then drop down one, all the way down, these exercises will help you loosen your fingers up and your fingers may get a little sore. You'll develop some calluses on the ends of your, on the tips of your fingers. And when you're playing, always use the ends of your fingers. Don't use the, the flat, meaty part. Use the very tips of your fingers when you're mashing the string down. And play in the center of the fret. Put your finger in the center. If you get too close to the fret, it's going to sound like that. Or if you don't match the string hard enough, it's going to sound like that. So you want a good clear sound. And same with the second finger exercise. exercises are important. You need to practice them every day. Start learning a few chords. The first chord that we're going to learn is G. And we're going to start by putting our third finger on the little string in the third fret. Then you're going to put your second finger on the big string in the third fret. And your first finger will go on the fifth string next to the top in the second fret. This is the G chord. It sounds like this. Make sure that each note is real clear.
sounds like this, then you're not mashing the string hard enough or you're too close to the fret. And notice I'm playing with the tips of my fingers, not with the fatty part of the ends, but with the very tip. Okay, that is the chord G. Now we're going to learn another chord. This chord is C. We're going to start by putting our first finger in the first fret on the second string. Then the second finger will go on the fourth string in the second fret. And the third finger will go on the fifth string in the third fret. Missing. This. <laughs> Don't play the big string right now. Leave the big string off. Just start on the fifth. That is the chord G. We've got C and G. You can actually do a few songs with just those two chords. But in the key of G, the main three chords are G, C, and D, so we're going to learn the chord D. You're going to start by putting your first finger on the third string in the second fret. Then drop your second finger all the way down to the first string in the second fret. So those two are in the same fret, and there's one string in between them. Then you're going to put your third finger on the second string in the third fret and play just the bottom four strings so we've got G C and D Now that we've learned a few chords, we're going to do a song, and this song only has two chords in it, so you won't need to use the D, just G and C. And we're going to strum right where the mark is over the word. So if you see the G and then the slash, that means that it's the chord G and then one strum. So everywhere you see a slash, that's going to be one strum. So it's going to be something like this. We don't smoke marijuana. No, it's wrong. I'm going to try again. We don't smoke marijuana in Muscogee. So we're playing on the downbeat. We don't take our trips on. Uh -huh. Let's start out. I mean, you don't have to start. You can take that part out. G, C, and D. Now that we've learned a few chords, we're going to do a song. This song is only going to have two chords in it, G and D. The G is going to start the downbeat, so we're going to have G chord made, and everywhere you see the little slash, that means you strum right on that word. So it's going to sound something like this. We don't smoke marijuana in Muskogee. We don't take our trips on LSD. We don't burn our draft cards down on Main Street. Cause we like living right and being free. Now you notice that you don't change chords unless you get to the place where the chord actually changes in the book or on the video.
so we've got G, and we keep strumming G until we get to where you see the D. So we're playing the downbeat on each of slash. Okay, let's try it one more time. We don't smoke marijuana in Moscow. We don't take our trips on LSD. You stay in D now until you get back to another G. We don't burn our draft cards down on Main Street. Cause we like living right and being free. Now we'll go down and do the chorus. I'm proud to be an Oki from Muskogee, place where even squares can have a ball. We still wave old glory down at the courthouse, and white lightning still the biggest thrill of all. You can go back to the second verse and do the exact same thing. The slashes will work. You just change the words. That was that song was in the key of G. Now we're going to learn the chords in the key of A. We're going to start with the chord A. We're going to put our first finger on the third string in the second fret. Then you're going to put your second finger right above your first finger in the same fret. So it's going to go on the fourth string. And then your third finger is going to go on the second string, which is right below. So they're all crowded into one fret. I'm going to play just the top five strings. Leave off the big string, the E. Leave it off and just play. Big string and strum down. That is the chord A. Let's do it one more time. First finger, third string, second fret, second finger, fourth string, second fret, third finger will go to the second string in the second fret. The chord A. Now we're going to make the chord D. We've had that in another song or another group of chords. So we're going from A to D. Now, when you're moving from the chord A to the chord D, you don't have to move your first finger. You can move your first finger right where it's at. So all you have to do a to go to D is move your second finger to the first string in the second fret and put your third finger on the second string in the third fret. So we've got A and D. The next chord is going to be E. Now we're going to slide the first finger back it's still on the same string. Slide it back. So your first finger is on the third string in the first fret. Then your second finger is going to go on the fifth string in the second fret. Your third finger is going to go on the fourth string in the second fret. Chord E, you can play all the strings. So let's try it one more time. Third string, first fret. Second finger will go to the fifth string, second fret. Third finger will go to the fourth string, second fret. A, D, and E.
Now that we've learned the chords in the key of A, we're going to do a song. This song is entitled Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain. And it's going to be work the same as the other song that we did. We're going to start with A, and everywhere you see a slash, you strum. So it's going to sound something like this. Switch to E. Blue eyes cry in the rain. Back to A. As we kissed goodbye and parted, I knew we'd never meet again. Then it goes to D. Love is like a dying ember. of C and it's going to have three chords C, F, and G. The first chord C, you're going to put your first finger on the second string in the first fret. Then your second finger is going to go on the fourth string in the second fret. And your third finger is going to go on the fifth string in the third fret. Don't play the top string. Leave the top string off. That is the chord C. The next chord is going to be F. You're going to match two strings with one finger. It takes a little bit of practice, but you can do it. Two strings here. In the first fret, the bottom two strings match with your first finger. Then, with your second finger, you come up and you get the third string in the second fret. Then, with your third finger, you go up and get the fifth string in the third fret. With your little finger, your fourth finger, you're going to put it on the fourth string in the third fret. So F is going to sound like this. Leave off the big string again. Leave off your top string. So we've got C, F, and you already know G from the key of G. With G, you're going to put your first finger on the fifth string in the second fret. You're going to put your second finger on the top string in the third fret, then you're going to put your third finger on the very bottom string, the little string, in the third fret. And that's G. So we have the chords C, F, and G. Also, one other chord we're going to add to this key is the chord C7. Now, the way you make a C7 is just like making a C. Then you add your first, your fourth finger on the third string in the third fret. So you make a C chord and add your little finger on the third string and the third fret. And this is the difference in the sound of the C and the C7. Most of the time you can use a major chord in the place of a seventh chord or vice versa. 
but seventh chords are normally used for transitions into another chord. So if you're playing C, you're going to G, or to F, I'm sorry. C, C7, C, F, G, and C7. Now that we've learned the key of C, we're going to do a song in the key of C. We're going to start with the chord C. And you can leave ever off if you want to, since Elvis didn't sing it, we won't either. And the downbeat is going to be on sense. So we make the chord C and strum. Six, right there. Since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. Now there we're going to C7. I found a new place to dwell. Down at the end of Lonely Street. bass notes and alternates to the chords that we've learned. We're going to start with the chord C and instead of leaving off the big string we're going to add it. There's two different ways to do that. You can move your third finger up to the third fret top string and then add your fourth finger on the fifth string in the third fret. one way to make the chord C and, and cover all the notes, all the strings. Another way, which is probably more practical, is making the chord C and then when you're playing your bass note, we're going to move third finger up to the top string. So we're going to go from the fifth string to the sixth string. Fifth string to the sixth string with just a third finger. And that'll sound something like this. We're going to play a bass note on the fifth string. Fifth string, strum. Then we're going to move the third finger up to the sixth string. down so we're alternating it five strum six strum five strum six strum so that's gonna sound like this to strum bass note and alternate with the chord D, I'm going to hit the fourth string, and then strum, and then up to the fifth string. And you can play the fifth and fourth both open. So it's bass, strum, bass strum. It's going to be on the fourth string, strum, then the fifth string. That's the chord D. Also, you can use the open string, leave off the top string. You just play the fifth, Start with the fifth string, then the fourth string, so it's five, strum, four, 